Yeah. Well, um, I, I think for the first time, I really, I really don't know where to begin or what to say other than I'm just proud of the guys. Um, you know, we've been through the ups and downs of this season, and we've never allowed ourselves to get too low or too high. And um, as a result, I think this week kind of kind of show the type of toughness and resiliency and uh, th that these guys have. And it's good to see that our younger players are, are growing up. Questions? <laughs> With the exception of the blackout here or there, maybe you well, I'm gonna does, go this does this bode well for the future, I'm, what you have up here? Yeah, I'm going to go back and watch the tape. I don't want to make a comment until <laughs> I watch the tape. But obviously, not, neither one of these guys are fessing up at this point of who it was. I think they blamed it on Rick. So. He's not here, let's play. Yeah, so we can talk about Rick because he's not here. Um, but, you know, it, 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 you know, these guys obviously were, were, were huge in our success tonight. Um, the turnovers were, the lack of turnovers for us, keeping it down to around 13 was big. And second half, it was the free throws. Finally, finally, we, we shot, a, uh, shot the line well in the second half. It's the key against these guys, the, the pressure, handling their pressure. It is because they get you in some of those those moments where you have to weather their storm and they make it with their pressure. And uh, it's frustrating sometimes when you when you think you might have been hit a little bit and you don't get the call and then now they're running back and they're, they're getting layups on you. And as you saw late in the game, Norris call. That's why I say he's one of the best guards in the league. I mean, I don't know if he missed a shot and might have made seven in a row, but and made free throws. I mean, he just took the game over, and that's why you have to be able to convert on the other end. Lonnie, you guys are up only four, and you went off from the threes. Three, three in a row, I think. Yeah. You just feeling it then? What's that feel like when they're? It feels great. It looks good. <laughs> yeah, my coach just kept telling me to find the open spots and like slow down because I kept trying to rush everything in the first half. So I just listened to him and knocking my shots down. My teammates kept finding me. So you get that one from the logo. Ricky had one of those earlier. <laughs> Did you learn that from from him, from him hitting them from out there? Yeah, we played horse before the game, so. <laughs> I had to show them I can hit one too. Yeah. Drive, what's the key against their pressure when they're coming at you full court like that? Uh, just being calm and then not letting them speed you up and just turning and looking up the court. Coaches, we put a lot of drills in in practice with just catching the ball, turning, chinning it, looking up the court. So doing those drills has helped us a lot playing against teams like that. Did you guys feel you owed them one after that one uh, at their place? Oh, yeah, we were still hurting from that. So being able to get them back feels good. Did you guys talk about that, or was that just understood? Or? It was just understood. We knew we had to get it, and we were trying to climb up the conference, so it was a big one for us. But it was especially sweet against these guys? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so it was just understood? It wasn't anything you guys had to talk about? Yeah, it was, it was understood. Let me, say, let, me, let, me, let me talk for these young guys here. <laughs> you know, there's, there's no uh, getting back. It's just, you know, we just know how important this game is. And, uh, and they, they, you know, I, we laugh about it, but we have a lot of respect for Cleveland. and. But I think you're alluding to that we felt like one slept through, slipped through our fingers, and that's exactly how we did feel. And we just wanted to make sure we took advantage of this opportunity. <laughs> Put things in perspective a little bit. <laughs> in other words, that's what they meant. <laughs> <laughs> so that didn't come up in your pregame at all? No, no. We, yeah, I've been pretty careful trying to choose my words leading into these games because it's um, – not trying to put pressure on this team, um, but rather them just to kind of just be in the moment and understand that this is the most important game, this one right now. And it'll be the same thing uh, for Saturday. So um, we don't want to get get too far ahead. Um, there's there's basketball games to be played and just trying to keep them locked in for the first for this 40 minutes. You mentioned Saturday. Is that a quick turnaround now for you guys, especially against a non-conference opponent? Uh, Difficult to prepare for that one? Well, it, it, it is going to be a short turnaround. Obviously, I have not watched Niagara. Unless I watched a little bit of them when they were on national TV when we were in Detroit. Um, we'll put together a game plan starting tonight, and we'll get ready. We're, we're used to Thursday, Saturdays um, as far as our league, but obviously we know our league opponents right. better. They've had an entire week to prepare for us, and they play really fast. They're very athletic. Oh man, it's uh, <laughs> we definitely have our hands full. But you know, it's uh, it's going to be a fun game, and we're excited to have them come in. Come in.